the two items that I focus on in the mission regarding our treatment at the collective is the attachment focused work that we do and the neuro informed work that we do. And they really go hand in hand. Attachment theory simply is about how safe someone feels in the world. And many of our clients are experiencing the stress responses they are because they haven't had felt safety either in their body with panic attacks and depression or in their environment with trauma that has happened to them. The number one thing we know that helps people get better is trust in healing relationships. We emphasize that both in our supportive housing and group milieu. We really want everyone here to feel safe, trust one another, and be a part of the family, which I think we do really well most of the time. Once people's defenses are down and they feel like they can actually be vulnerable and start doing that deeper work, having the therapists here that understand the importance of the relationship, showing up in the relationship and doing the deeper work um, while building the client's trust all the time. I always tell clients that trauma happens in the context of a relationship and it's healed in the context of a relationship. And so that relationship building is what I really want to embrace here at The Collective with our uh, client community and our therapists individually. Once we have that, what we call secure attachment obtained, clients, when they can say, wow, I've said things here that I've never said to anyone before, or wow, I trust you more than I've ever trusted anyone before, we want to help the client understand that's wonderful that it's here and it can be outside of here because you're not obviously going to live the rest of your life here. We want to show and model the relationships that they can build for the rest of their life. And by building that here, we can then start to focus on their discharge plans and how they can shape their life to continue building the trusting, safe relationships moving forward. And sometimes that involves taking inventory of the non-trusting, safe relationships in their life before. The neuro-informed piece comes into play in linkage with the trust and safety and the attachment relationship. What I mean by that is we want to understand not just the person's diagnosis, but the symptoms that are presenting. Those symptoms come from usually early childhood relationships that taught them to be one way or another. By being neuroinformed, that means that we have a different treatment team treating one than the other just because of the nature of the symptoms. But with that attachment focused lens, where we're always working towards safety. Safety is the first step in healing and um, really sort of sets the foundation for the rest of your life once you know how to achieve it in any situation.